4.4 is here. We are starting off with the cloud retainer story right away. We're just getting right into it. I had to do some little domain. Apparently, she was stuck in another thing. I didn't know what it was. I just did it. So let's see it. I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see what we're working with. remember the first time we came here. We even brought offerings and everything. Yeah, it was me five minutes ago before I hit record. Ex Lapis had been assassinated. Ex Lapis. She immediately threatened to squash Lele Harbor. Paimon thought she'd be impossible to get along with. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. She I Like, she cool. She cool, I guess. We don't need to bring any offerings cool, now that we've I gotten guess. to know her pretty well, right? Hmm. Still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. Huh? Traveler, did something catch your She's eye? in her human form. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. What a pretty lady. Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Oh, they don't know. She could also... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. All it takes is one look and you can tell she's someone special. I that is true. I that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of Adepti friends from all over the country. Her drip is immaculate. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. If we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? <laughs> helping you make oh, more man. connections okay. is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. Paimon's got this. Same. They'll never know. How will they know? Um, Damn. God Damn. Mm. Oh, but stinky. we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? You two... <laughs> what is this tomfoolery? Has a shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Okay, to be fair, you look nothing like that prior, brother. You're... You look, you're look you like a duck or some what? shit. No, like... You're the illuminated bird? Yeah, you're a fucking bird, what my guy. question oh donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities as for your confusion one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before so uh you're indulging now because because well one has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at liue harbor taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous true you Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning. Or... <laughs> yeah, Paimon's <laughs> scarred. Paimon is scarred. Uh, has a reason, doesn't want to discuss them too openly. Okay, cool. Hey, didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? Yo, why do oh. they pretend like nobody hears them? So you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Anything for you, Cloud Retainer. Sin. Sin City was a man for you. Well, this is all Paimon's got. You don't mind. That's all I got, dog. Got two Snickers bars. Found oneself lacking in and a Reese's. Literally, On the contrary, it. it is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration, the quantity or quality of the gift is but a trivial matter. Uh, that kind of makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Yeah, come on, bro. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon? Those are her disciples. Oh, right. So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Chen. I hope we get to see the skins it's also in this been quest. A while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. One plan to extend the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shunhan Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. I genuinely don't even remember what Ganyu sounds like. Um, yeah. Because I, I did this story quest so long ago. So yeah, I'm excited. However, I don't even remember what it sounds like. To the reason behind your visit here. No reason in particular, big fella. company? Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. True. We were hoping you'd tell us True, one of your honestly. stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Hmm. Is that so? If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! I personally... Um...
like th- this is like I did leeway within like the first two weeks of me playing the game. So I don't remember as much as leeway that I probably should, nor do I know as much of the lore. Recently. In her correspondence with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. Huh. They think one was so easily mollified. One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. Yeah, I don't, I don't know a lot of the lore around Cloud Retainer, so I am excited to learn stuff. Um, I, there's some things maybe I might not catch. I don't know. If I don't, please let me know. Um, no, she's seen Cloud Retainer like this before, Stinky. She turned back into a fucking bird, probably. Pelican fly. Go, Pelican. She back there, dog. Are you... Are you stupid, Paimon? Are you dumb? <laughs> like, we're not even... We're only six minutes and ten seconds in. Where did she go? She's right behind you, bruv. Quietly now. One <clears throat> you two Jeez, can man. What a... What an interesting uh, character, right? In Paimon. If we all go together? Oh, she don't want to be associated with your stinky yet. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. One does not wish to trouble her. Aww, Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. Again, do not mention one's presence here. Okay. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then. We'll just pass on your regards and... Cloud retainer? Oh, never mind. Oh. Stinky. Found him. Found him. Uh, oh. plain, plain soiled. Or that... Is that lady someone you know, Ms. Ganyu? She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin, but could we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Although, perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. Oh, not to worry, Ms. Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements right away. Thank you, Huixin. Okay. Same. It's been a while, Ganyu. Shout out to Ganyu. Greetings. What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too. It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. You are quite mistaken. One is not acquainted with this <laughs> Cloud Retainer. Of what is going with her, bro? One is simply a mere mortal passerby. Yeah, that's how someone would pretend that they're not a Cloud Retainer speaking. She's not buying it. Oh, no, really, bro. Come on. Um, that was but a simple test. One did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing one's other form. Thinking, why shouldn't I recognize you? I used to use every day. I bet my memory is true. But recognizing you is uh, my responsibility as your disciple. I have responsibility for now. <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. Wait, Paimon wasn't aware of any important... Oh, uh... Cloud Retainer's right! We've still got something super important to do, so we Hi, can't stay here for too long today. Oh, Paimon. <laughs> oh, is that so? But it's been so long since Paimon's the most character other. of all time, brother, uh, let me tell you. One simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied. I understand. That should be fine. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. <sighs> it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. When you were young, you oft begged one to Ganyu's hug goated, you to bro. sleep when you suffered from nightmares. Child Ganyu so adorable, Cloud by the way. Oh, she's blushing. If you insist. 
It's adorable. We are running short on time regardless, so one will refrain from going into each and every story. Yeah. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. Wow. You've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. If you ever need anything, please just come find me at UAHI Pavilion. Also, forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer, but if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? True. A human name? Oh, that's how she gets her name? You raise a valid oh, point. Oh, understood. Considering <clears throat> the sheer extent of one's renown, Cloud Retainer that is makes sense. too recognizable as a name. Because I didn't know why they were calling her, uh, I can't pronounce it, Shin, Shin Yun, or I, I didn't know why they were calling her that. I was very, very confused. You presume to know the extent of one's illustrious achievements. One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. Huh. Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point on, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Shenyun, okay, Shenyun? yeah. I was confused. I was like, why is everyone calling her Shenyun? I mean, like, you know, like, drip marketing uh, said it, but I was like, where do we get this from? I that's a reference to the full record of Shenyun. Pristine Pavilion. An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh, that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of Adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Okay. Huh? Wait, so you're really that powerful? Yeah, she's goaded. What do you think this is? I heard jumping around. But what of it? Did you truly take one to be nothing more than <laughs> a bird of bigger than average size? I did. I thought she was stinky. Not exactly. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. It is said that once, a long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day and night praying to the Adepti. Although I did not live through such tragedy, simply reading about it is enough to gain a visceral <clears throat> understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. On top of the drought, a noxious gas also began to spread through the land. If not for Cloud Retainer's efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. The books had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Immediately, the clouds gathered together, and abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Drought and plague were both driven away, and the people were saved. Wow, that's incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did she humble as hell? Not, and she did all that. Had not interceded. She did that. The other adept, I would surely have stepped in to help. Nah, nah. It was you. So it was you. It was you. Route. You did Can it. You really control the weather like the book said? Yeah, dog. He's that guy. He's that guy, you know? Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. Uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling you Illuminated Bird before. I definitely read those Illuminati by accident. Are you? Oh, how laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? <laughs> That's a relief. In that case, Paimon continue to call you whatever feels right in the moment <laughs> well that is quite enough ancient history for now ganyu have you had word from shenha one has heard that she procured a job recently have you any thoughts on her workplace and what pray tell of her monthly remuneration moreover does she find herself overly inundated with work is she allowed time off during lantern right oh they meant to the thing is a lot of questions there is no cause for concern cloud retainer I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. One in restaurant's business has been booming recently. So with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shangling still off and out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenha to staff the restaurant. I see. Most going hard as well. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. 
Xiangling is kind and astute. While her father is loyal and reliable, one has no cause to believe that they will make Shenhe's work difficult. <sighs> now, it is almost time to partake in the Vittles of Noon. One shall visit Wanmin Restaurant in person and see how Shenhe is doing. Huh? But didn't you just say that you had something important to do? Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? You may return to your work on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. I wonder what the important thing is. Like, I, I like, I like, is it Lantern Knight related? Pretty quick on the uptake there, don't you think? Where is this? I'm, I'm a lazy, I'm a lazy bastard. I'm a lazy bastard. I'm going to just TP right there. As soon as you mentioned important business. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, it's all right. We'll be okay. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, for sure, baby. Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine <laughs> lady. Huh? Yo! Oh, I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Oh. Hey, how about you ask her? What up, baby? You do it. Nah, they're spitting. You should. They're right, they're right. She's coming. Oh my god. What can I get for you today? Oh. Uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to. Not this. What would you like to order? Oh, God. damn! She came in mad aggressive. Uh, two servings of more meat to go. Uh, good chat. Bye. Yo, what the? F Yo, they really just got mad and timid. I mean, to be fair, she came at them pretty, pretty hard. Though. What do you want? Um, I don't know. Beep. Hey, Welcome. Number, number. It's been a while. May I take your order? Is she uh, just dry like that? Friends in the same line. It's weird. I haven't, um, I, I don't. Uh, mm -hmm. uh huh. Oh, and this is? Uh, this is Miss Shinyun. Master? Oh, okay. huh? she knew. She knew. She knew. Huh. You know. What does not recall ever revealing this form to you before? How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? I've trained and lived with Master for more than 10 years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. The smell of the bird. Ew. What it is. Stinky. Stinky. Is something the matter, Stinky. Master? Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. And check out the great food, too! Indeed. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, are you here for Shenhe? The yeah. The Trush isn't in yet, Shenhe. So, I've got things covered for now. Hey. Go ahead. Sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. Okay. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. Tell you, boss. <laughs> Yeah, I just wonder what the important thing is, but we do this in every uh, character story. We got like two wishes. Let's just let's just get a quick uh, Shinyan real quick. Oh no, okay. Uh, let's just let's just get a quick um let's just get a quick cloud retainer just real quick, just real quick. Okay, um that was a fluke. Hold on, let's just get a quick cloud retainer real quick. Hold on, my bad, my bad. This is it's guaranteed right here, guaranteed. This is gonna be the walk off cloud retainer. That would have been crazy and gaming. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait. I have faith. One more wish. All right. I got one more wish. We got one more. This is the one. This is the one. I wasn't going to wish her. But now I am. Because I'm easily persuaded. Because I like gotcha. Okay. Let's go. Keep pushing. Shit and chat. Where at? Oh, okay. Maybe maybe by the end of the video we'll get a little bit more pretty much. I'm saying we'll see what happens. It is just as one oh. expected. The music stopped. The owner of Wan Mean Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating human. Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? It's been manageable so far. I sometimes run into strange people, <laughs> but I have figured yeah, out Yeah, by pressing them, what do you want? 
What do you want? Making progress. <sighs> so by dealing with them, you mean put them in a fucking chicken wing and first, beat the I shit out of them. Talk sense into them. Oh. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with <laughs> Yes. Is. Okay. At this point, they usually decide yeah. in favor. Bro, those, those are some crazy eyes. I wouldn't mess with anyone with those type of eyes, bro. She she scares me. She scares me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Keep it a bug. I'm keep it a bug with you. That's how you integrate well in society. How have you been? She's been a fucking bird, bro. She's flying around living her best life. You know? Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently. One has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I see. Oh, just as expected of Master. Hmm. 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 Okay. Sorry, I had to check something. We're I back. I have missed Master We're quite here. a bit, too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Oh, you did? <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. Why are you getting so uptight, dog? She wants to say hi to you. Her mood shot up just like, like damn, that. Like, damn, it ain't that deep, it ain't that deep. By the way, Master, since you are in Liyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? I actually just visited her, oh my god. She is similarly preoccupied How'd you know? with her like, work. What? There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. I don't know about that. Ganyu told us the story of Clabertiner's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. I see. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Oh? Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter. Please, proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated in a race against Mooncarver. After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural edge in such a contest. In response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Mooncarver accepted, only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. What kind of device was it? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. What was it called again? Oh, an <coughs> electro-powered bicycle. Yeah, we got those in the city, dog. Oh, you refer to the got bicycle city, Thunder Flash Mobile. One spent 49 days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can cover thousands of miles in one day. Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. I have something to say one after, but I'm not going to say anything yet. When it was thrown off course and failed to make it across the final stretch. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. The most unfortunate. Master, that was the end of that story. Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. What is a race without spectators, after all? Is that what this is about? Are we going to make a race? Like Have a, you like been a... lonely, Master? Aw. Lonely? <clears throat> huh. At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. Tis a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. Preposterous? I'm not lonely. She's lonely, dog. She needs someone to talk to. Like, I could pull out, you know. What is the reason for that look upon your face? <laughs> trying to pull up. It's just... <laughs> well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth, and it's like you're back to being that huh. human-eating bird again. <laughs> I'm just a little bit up. confused. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? To me, they are both master. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and adore. Huh. 
One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refuse to grace Mount Outsong with your presence for any extended period of time. One would almost question the sincerity of your estimations. This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Okay. Others may critique or praise as they see fit. Yet one places little weight in such judgments. She got like... What, two sentences of flattery from her disciple? And it's as if her ego is about to burst. Yeah, no, legit. Do you have any empty tables? Yeah, one that we're sitting at. We're getting up, dog. He's about to kick us out, as he should. Get out of here. Hey there, could we get another fish stew? <clears throat> I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. All right, good luck with the lunchtime rush in, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll try my best. Just don't know what the important thing is yet. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Pime sex food, order a whole array of delicious dishes. Yeah, okay, like, you know. So much yummy food! Paimon's gonna feast! Is it just that she's lonely? Is that the moral of the story? Like, I I definitely complained in the beginning of the Navia story quest. Like, we're about 26 minutes in right now, and nothing's really happened yet. Um, We'll see, though. One is fond of all I'm reserving kinds judgment. Of delicacies I'm reserving my judgment. And a multitude of flavors. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, one has been struck by quite the fit of inspiration. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. <coughs> so tasty. A bit too hot at times, but still super tasty. I'm sorry, miss, but... Our tables are full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? But it smells so delightful. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. We'll give up the table? Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, I I'll ask around. Oh, we're gonna sit with this random ass Granny now. Would you mind letting us share a table with you? No, get the no out of here, so bro. <laughs> yeah, Would you mind sharing a table? What about you guys? Would you mind? I fucking mind, dog. I mind. Get out of here. Leave me alone, kid. Get out of here. Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, you and I. You and I. Granny? Yeah. Oh. Is there something wrong with that? I get that. You and no, I. No, no. Behind just a bit surprised. She looks so young. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. I, she's, <sighs> she knows her. Granny, uh. why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Yeah, Granny, don't stare at the power oh. tanner. Have we met before? No. Yes. Anticipated meeting, then. Please, take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. That's a dish? <sighs> no, no, not this again. I was about Granny, to say. There's no braised earthworms on the menu. Braised earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do people actually eat that? Right, that's what Paimon was thinking, too. I... need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her memory's getting worse mm. all the time. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Probably does know Cloud Retainer. Actually, her memory's been bad ever since I was little. But it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. She's Batman. Yeah, them. they done. It's just me and Granny. Just me and Alfred now. I'm going to hell. Oh, um, uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot, and I love her a lot too. 
Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. Wow. You're really tough for your age, kid. Yeah. <laughs> you're too kind. And me? Oh, what about me? You're, you're eating earthworms, you, girl. Plus, you're really gentle. Definitely, you're tough. And you're always there you know? for me. I wouldn't be able to yes. eat earthworm. And it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Uh, wait, what was that? Ah, I remember now. It was all it was a dream. dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her. And that once I'd found her... I would be free. Is Cloudy Tanner gonna free her or something? That sounds super important. But how come you've never told me about it before? It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. Ah, oh, you know, I believe I've had this dream a great many times. The back of her hair looks like just the, how the many catalyst for Cloudy Tanner sideboard. It. Now that that's what I just I call it. Not remember. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. Oh, I'm on, please. <gasps> Shut Does up. Does that mean you're possessed? Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no, no so signs was... of possession. I can't believe this, this is the sure? dialogue right now. No signs of possession is crazy. For? Is one not an adept? <laughs> Am I not an expert? Huh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. In that case, do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now. My younger self. <laughs> a younger version of Granny? I don't know who's this trying to go in the world. This is just weirder and weirder. What is going on here? As one Unfortunate, said, I'm sorry. Fate must have brought us together. You may leave this situation to me. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, so, what are your names? Paimon's Paimon. This is going to be one of those, just huh? Just Shenyun is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. <coughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, but, Miss Shenyun, what exactly can we do to help out this granny? All we have to go off is that dream. Where do we start? That is elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. Hmm, sounds like a plan. So, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Why, of course I do. Um. The heavens above, the earth below, the wispy clouds. And the Emerald Mountain Stream. Sounds like the place we just went to for the last Power Retainer uh, no. quest, actually. I don't think it's a no. I think she's have an idea. has some sort of association with Cloud Retainer. When I was really little, my dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved loads of people from a disaster. Oh. Oh. If it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Shinto knows tons about Liyue's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. Yeah, it's on the house, kid. Must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while you and I and Shuyu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Street Word Rambler. Street Word Rambler? Oh, you mean Madame Ping! Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. I'm just not 
feeling it. Like I I wish it was more about cloud retainer as opposed to um like you know I I don't know man again with the Navia quest we we were a long time in before it started to pick up but then like it picked up and then it ended and then like the more we got to the moral of the story but it's like we're 35 minutes in and I just feel like it, it's the same thing where it's like nothing's really happening it's it's hoopla and filler a little it's bit you, you know what brings you here that that's how I interpret it right now personally you know I'm sure they have some sort of uh correlation to cloud retainer but that's not a whole lot of I'd rather this be about cloud retainer I don't know if I can say for sure. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But considering we'll see them. her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine <laughs> who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Nameless heroine? That's right. Not a drug, sweetheart. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. As the people suffered, a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. The people idolized her, but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhung. They were well-matched in more ways than one, often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. After the drought ended, the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Chincho. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Chincho, if you read up... Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Wang Shu In, perhaps the real-life heroine who inspired the character, was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the very... <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Yuendai was indeed the... It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But no one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. There's probably far more to the story than what's been written. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth. That's a deal. Perhaps, behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Shincho. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh, wait, why does the story sound super familiar? Oh, right! There's a drought in this story, too! Um, Shincho, are droughts super common in Leo? Did, did they go again? Did they fight Cloud well, Retainer or something? I don't know. I don't know. But they're connecting the two have stories. Long since developed methods to prevent them, like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. Okay. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. The crops withered. The streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. That sounds awful. Yeah, and that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. They say that back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. 
Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Hyunyun and the others again. Paimon hopes that Granny Yuendai will be able to remember more of her past. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. So sad that she can't recall any of it. Anyway, we'll be off now. See you some other time, Shin. It's no problem at all. Safe travels. Um, I don't know. See what happens. Let's see what I, I, there, there's definitely like a a cross between the beginning from what Gon you said to us about Cloud Retainer and then this NPC. I just don't think it had to take 40 minutes to get to this. That's my that's my only thing. I feel like we could have gotten to this little cross um, without it taking 40 minutes. So I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I have recorded the tune that you requested. I remember this. I hope it will be of help to you. <clears throat> I remember her. Oh, thank you. Didn't that look like the back of her head too? Am I bugging? Madame Ping. Straight word for Ping. What has amused you so? Oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet you appear just the same as ever. Time has little bearing on one's existence. Nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping, one would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh, why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. A approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor? Not unlike the one that you yourself lead. Hmm. It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean that... Cloud Retainer, Madam Pink! Uh, what are you two talking about? Just to the meat and potatoes. <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful details? No. Shinto has a theory, but... Nothing. Save it for when two you and Miss Yundai have joined up with Nothing. us again. Yep. Hmm. Do not be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. Uh, thank you so much. What do you think, Shuyu? Does it match up with what you know of your granny? Huh. According to the story, the nameless heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist from Mount Tianhang. Maybe... That's my grandpa. I don't have many memories of him. But there is this one time I found a box in our attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. I think so too. Granny might remember something when she's returned to a familiar place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the... It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains. Thoroughly one with nature and at peace. Is that so? Then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the yeah, time. Yeah, you're looking fine as hell, my damn ping. Don't even stress it, girl. Like, what I know? You got the Mora, so you know, what up? Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? No. Sure thing. What would you like to know? Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. What's a secret, dog? What, 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 what is a secret? Please, enlighten me. What's wrong, right, Shuyu? You? Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant. But are you guys all adepti in disguise? God damn it, how you know? How you know? How you know that? Like, 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 what, like, like, how you know that, though? Well, you guys just seem super special. Plus... I think I'm I've ever heard Miss Shen Yun call legit. herself an adeptus. Oh, must have been a slip of the tongue. Shen Yun, since you were the one who, uh, misspoke, uh -huh. maybe you uh -huh. can explain to Shen Yun what you really Maybe you could tell them. Uh, one is indeed an adeptus. 
Is that of some concern to you? Oh, damn. Okay. A little, a little aggressive there. A little aggressive to the little kid. Well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crane. I had this super high fever and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross. But then this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house mm. and sent me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed her. and my fever was gone. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so <coughs> I never got the chance. So I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are Unless blue maybe it's and white, black know. and brown. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clavertina? Hmm. Never has one met an adeptus with such features. One surmises such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oh. often results from narrative accounts. Oh. That's weird. Was Ooh. it really just a dream then? Damn, she said you lied. Even if it was just in my Why head, the you lying? Oh my God! Why fuck you, lying? I'm really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us. Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one. Bro. Okay. I'll go get Granny. Doing it, ma'am. This water is mega. It's like new blood's bath water. Side bars. Oil hooked me up. I don't know. I don't know. I think, um, yeah. like I just, it's, I, I think it's going to have a satisfying ending. And I think that's, what's annoying me is that everything, but the ending is going to be great. I mean, the ending is going to be great. Like the payoff's going to be good, but the, getting to the payoff, place, like, is it worth it? That yes. that's my concern. The fish here is very delicious. Like Navi is picked up by now. Look out <clears> into <throat> the distance. <clears throat> you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. We're probably roughly halfway I through. Believe I used to have a room here. It had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. Which room was it again? Uh, let me look. Let me look. I'll come with. some trouble understanding what she's talking about but if she's so familiar with this place that must mean she lived here right wait huh I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look it's the grandma if you're here then there's likely no trouble <clears throat> foot. I suppose there's no cause for concern what's up emo boy it's been a while cloud retainer I see you've returned to your previous form. How are you, Clown Retainer? How are you? I have indeed. Yeah. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Oh, did you? Oh, wow. What was she like during the war? She was great, Paimon. Oh, wait. Let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything like this? Behold, the glory <laughs> of <laughs> one's newest invention, the Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism. This is funny. Surrender or be yeah, like this. to face the full might of the Adepti. The Adepti. Why does she sound like that? An impressive imitation. <laughs> Paimon knows her all too well. Even so, Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. Why are we talking about her like she's not right there? You may there. be unaware, but her talent with Adepti sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn, only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. A Cloud Retainer who barely talks? I can't picture it. But what happened after that? If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? 
Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. Mm, understood. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, only revealing herself to the occasional visitor, and always in her avian form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30-odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of... Uh, one believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Can, can I just know? Maybe? Like, can you tell okay? us? Like, uh, can, we, can you just tell us already? Back then, at this like, place, I... Perhaps this conversation... How do you, how do you know these people? How, how do you know the grandma, bro? Just tell me. Now. Tell me. Tell me. Should tell you me. encounter any trouble, you need <clears> only <throat> call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Oh, homie. Get out of nowhere. I, I'm I gone. Think Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. So what Shinto said was true! You did fall ill! Was that why you went into hiding? I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me, and there was no cure for it. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure I knew why. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul-revitalizing tea pills. He told me that the pills were concocted using adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? And it was all thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, my mind's brain kind of hurts. Yeah, mine does too. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. sorry, I don't. Uh, oh, you're not useless. If only you're just I boring. <laughs> what hey, mean? You're not useless. You're not useless, Grandma. You're, so you're not. You're not useless. I swear, I swear. You're not useless. Me? How could you say that about yourself? Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything else. Yeah, let's go to the next location, I agree. Next location. <coughs> yep, there sounds good. This isn't really a landmark there, so where should we start? Oh, I might got it. The houses. Let's get it. After all, if she was there for any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's really got her thinking cap on today. At this rate, we'll have all of Granny Wendy's memories in no time. Stop it. Get some. Okay. Let's go to this next spot. Um, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah. Let's see. You know, I feel like we've been like teased something about Cloud Retainer like two or three times so far. We're about an hour and 54 minutes in. It's like, bro, can you just fucking give us a crumb of information? Crumb of anything, actually? Ah, this wasn't locked. Whoa, why are there so many trigger orders here? Bro. I'm beating her ass. Don't even stress it. 
Okay, there we go. We're done? Okay. What do I say? What do we do next? Do you remember anything about this place, Granny Wendy? <clears throat> Let me think. I feel like I've been here before. But I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Got it. That's okay. There are still plenty of other places we can check. Wait a second. If I remember correctly, I believe I brought... Ah, yes. I brought some sweet snacks with me. Oh, Go on, please. take some. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong. True. True, we need to feed Rizzy's booty, Badonkadon. <clears throat> I I genuinely don't believe it's a it's a situation where like I don't know the lore and I'm missing out on something. I feel like everything's been pretty clear cut and dry. And it's not like a, a situation where I, I maybe don't know the context. Um I, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. Comment below. But this is one of the situations where again, just Feels dragged out. Feels dragged out. Feels kind of. <sighs> I don't know. This doesn't feel important. Doesn't feel important. This place. It's. Did you remember something, Granny? Do you remember? I. I remember. Show you. This is where your father was born. It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on, so we took refuge in this house. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer. Looks like the girl from Wuthering Waves, Bad Barm. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath, but spare my innocent child. Sin? Oath? Did you do something wrong? I don't know. I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. <coughs> that baby was your father. And I remember I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. My dad? He was my pride and joy. And so are you, Shuyu. You're so much like him, and I love you both so much. But you're... always going to be different from me. I... Why? I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. You're too sweet, Shuyu. I'm lucky to have you with me. If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. If one recalls correctly, the next place should be Chinyu Peak. You and I. Yeah, I'm not or TP in there. I they want you they want you to be so heavily I invested in this granny. Slow, um, but I'll do my best to keep up. We just met her. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. I want to know about Cloud Retainer. Climb on. I shall carry you to the top. I think this quest so Such far wait. all those who grow old yeah, grow frail in the end do they not first you lose your memory what they're saying we're then running there your health eventually you end up losing everything 
My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind, to free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fret not. You have my aid in this endeavor. I feel like the problem with this is that the once there's so much lore in this game or excuse me there's so much lore for genshin impact in general and there's so much stuff that we could i mean realistically have in the game and like this quest could have been about mainly cloud retainer and instead we're helping an old lady that i care zero about like I like I want to know more about Cloud Retainer. I don't care about this old woman, I, even if she's gonna turn out to be an adept eye or, or whatever. I'm kind of just like, bro. <clears throat> come on, you know. Strange, have I lived here before? Take it easy, sweetheart. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, you know. Though I couldn't remember everything, I don't think I'm bugging. I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. But here, I don't have that feeling. Oh, uh, perhaps I, I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. But did the stories get it wrong then? Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you two. It's all right. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? Sounds like I pulled a cheat. That way. That What's way. That mountain. That way. Oh, let Paimon look. Mount Altsong? Looks like we've come full circle. Mount Altsong. Mount Altsong. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Do Mount it. Altsong, I... Do it. Do it. What am do I it. really? Mount Altsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... I can't go back. Are you feeling unwell? My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I... Just... What is wrong with me? Cloud... Miss Yun, Is there anything you can do? Let us go to Mount Outsong. But... Fret not. All will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. It currently resides at Mount Outsong. Wait, really? When did you do that? <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, age. Yeah, I don't know. You, you, you comment below. You let me know what you think. I don't know. I just think it's a lot of nothing important. You know? Like, like when are we going to get, like, these crazy stories? I know we're getting an anime and stuff, right? Like, when are we going to get these crazy stories told in the game? Like, when when is that going to be... We're going to get lore or, like, flash... Like, Nervalets is perfect. That was perfect lore. It made sense. It included other characters, me mezzanines and everything. It was it was mwah, great. What's this thing you prepared? This nah. I it's not it's not it's not This is know. it. It's not for me. But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first got here? Oh, is it another invention of yours? Precisely. A recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax 
and even enter a semi-hypnotic state. Soothing agitation and anxiety, relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. Oh, what a cool gadget! <coughs> How preposterous. Had Yuendai not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, the device would have nothing to draw upon. We Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, <coughs> one would have little to offer in way of assistance. Paimon thinks she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle adeptal tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. And you, you and I, is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> she floating right now. It appears she has all yeah, the she floating, brother. She floating. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. The drought is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? <clears throat> the potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted needing you. Not even for a second. Please. Please, no. Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. The you of the past. The me from not that long ago. So she should have never. She an adept eye? Isn't that death eye? Okay. Uh, uh, so that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I. Granny! Granny? Are you okay? Cloud retainer. Hmm. Your memories have returned. Wait. Did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean you already knew each other? Yes, I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth. Of what I once was. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. <clears throat> Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you compose yourself. No, it's okay. Now that I've assured you, everyone. I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story. If you're- Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Nothing you say can change that. I'm intrigued. I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious, but- My feelings it's a long time to get here. exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. 
I'm not your dad. You're not my dad. I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Dwayne Karst? What happened? I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings, and time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day, fifty years ago. Fifty years ago? During the drought, brother. During the drought, my That's life. Right. Master regaled <coughs> me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane and become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Oh no. So that was the source of your dementia all along. Was it because of Grandpa? Indeed, I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted, more than anything, to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him, but my time continued to tick away. Nice guys, don't Those finish ten last. Years passed by in a flash. It's the biggest thing I'm getting from this. I did not want to leave his side, so <clears throat> I. Oh no! What happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering, even if it meant Brandy that loyal I as hell for that. turn into a monstrosity. Loyal as hell. I knew loyal as hell. I had betrayed Master's hopes, but I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled. Out from the world, and okay. That was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul-revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have... 
<sighs> Granny, what's wrong? Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea pills can Oh my god, it was the, the cloud retainer. Practice. Master, don't tell me. Back then, that merchant was actually <sighs> actually human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. <sighs> So when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, Clarity knows everything, brother. Really. I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was. She know. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out from among the flock. One found you with such ease every time. Tis the truth most evident. One always recognizes one's own, no matter what form they may take. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Paimon's confused. So, of course Paimon, you are. You found you and I again, but how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Did you cutscene? Oh. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Ah, One okay. One was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger. One set out to bring you to your senses. No, I'm excited to try her though. I haven't, tried, I haven't done her trial yet. Oh, so I, this, this is what I'm here for. My moods shift real quick. Real quick, my mood change, brother. In truth, one had more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. One could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies. Deficiencies is crazy. Glaring though they may have been. That's crazy as hell. Wishing to grant you a life without regrets. One gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. One took great care to alter one's features <laughs> and select the appropriate <laughs> That's funny. Only after meticulous funny. scrutiny did one finally set out for the massage. The massage, yo. As one expected, oh, man. you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> One was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? What? Yeah. That's so dope. That's so dope. Wait, so one, two, three. Oh! And then a plunge. You're so cool. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, is there a chest in here? Oh, snap. Oh, let me smack up some homies. That's so sick. That's valid. About another matter, if you are amenable, even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with addictive yeah. blood. Proclivity to attract monsters. Hardly that complicated of a concept okay. to remember. To think that you tried to travel attack, like, while got it. in sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog. I wonder if you can do... If we can do, um... We can bounce once and then just charge. Hold on. Yeah, so you can bounce once and charge if you wanted to. A little bit of a waste, but...
Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is fun. This is fun. This is better than Zhao. This is better than Zhao. We're, we're, we're pulling. We're pulling. We're pulling, brother. They got me. They got me. They got me on the trial. They got me on the trial. Those I'll tell you monsters that. would hardly have pursued you with such God ferocity damn. without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. Hmm. Said godly remains, in turn, were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. <coughs> one was, after all, an active participant in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. In the end, one was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, one heard an infant's cry pierce through the air. And one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. To see you happy, that was more than enough. I mean, at least Cloud Retainer's not a dick about everything, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's cool. Like, that's nice. Cloud Retainer still cares. They're very caring, and it's not just having to be an adept eye. You know. But if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be Ah. One had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. I just don't um We'll see. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I can't go that way, which is so strange. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. When one asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus uh... because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body <laughs> to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. That's funny. That's funny. You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. It bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Okay. I mean, sh shout out to Cloud Retainer. Like, that's interesting, you know. Um, showing that they're caring and that they're not a piece now of garbage, you know. Has been revealed. They're good people. They're good, and they care for their people. <sighs> one owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very end. You're sneaky bastard, eh? You're sneaky bastard. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Aw, that was nice. Indeed. One wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Mm. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who live through them. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. Master, I... I must ask. If you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not good bring people. me back to Cloud Mount good people. by force? One has never regarded your action as a mistake. It was a simple choice. When it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest, it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly. Free. Fly, pelican, fly. Yet, go, go. When your wings Man, grow weary pelican. and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. 
Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish, yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. Hmm. You and I. One expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it nearly delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, what's gonna happen to Granny? One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild queen. Mm. If it be fated, she may recover her sentience one day. Say bye to Granny, kid. She's gotta go back to being a regular crane, huh? Say goodbye, stinky. Master, you've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? <sighs> Not long. The transformation is imminent. Hey, Granny, please don't leave, okay? You're all I have. All right, now I feel a little bad for the kid. Please. I feel a little bad for the kid right now. Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and kid. strong. No, I do. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. I promise, Granny. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? Good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're sure to meet again someday. Uh, I'll eat well, Granny. I promise. And I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has... No ragrats, brother. No ragrats. Yeah. I'm so sorry, No ragrats, you know the deal. Power Tainer, make me a chicken Thank again, you. brother. Put, put me in my chicken form. For everything. We gotta cut... Yo, fuck the kids. That's a Clara Tainer said. That's crazy. Me first. I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. I just find that funny. Like, <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> this is sad. Shoo you. Now that's sad. At her age, crying is a natural, if uh. not fitting, response to such an event. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, 
You should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Yeah, I like to take a nap. All right, let's see. Does she turn back into a normal human? Does uh, Brooklyn? I see clarity to fly around. Well, I can fly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't they weren't gonna they weren't gonna leave it like that. They weren't gonna leave it like that. They That was quick. That was quick. And then we're gonna look at Cloud and she's gonna smile. Hey hell. Oh. <gasps> Oh, bro. I always believed we would see each other again. That our days of separation would finally end. Wow. And all my troubles would be behind me. No, no, this I'll get emotional for. <sighs> Damn. I'll get emotional for this. could stay this way forever if only we could find out where the fuck she is <laughs> if only right yeah a nightmare curious if you relaxed shouldn't your dreams be pleasant it was a good dream it's just you weren't ready to wake up. Oh, so no, okay. It was it was a dream. It was a dream. Homegirl's not back yet. Never mind. Eloquent as one may be, words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one <laughs> oh, she really just patted me on the head. Aww. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. What up, baby? What up, baby? That was cute. That took way too long. That took way too long, though. There's no need for us to take an hour and 30 minutes to get to that. I'm sorry. I do I do wish it was more about Cloud Retainer. Truthfully. Um. That's all right. Talking to you, Paimon had a dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks. That's all. M Madam Adeptus. Oh, shoot you! You're awake. How do you feel? I, I feel a little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday, so I don't feel so sad anymore. M Madam Adeptus, could I uh, ask you something? Would you? Take me in as a disciple? Oh. Oh. And have you okay. reasons for this sudden interest? Wait a second. I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. But without that mistake, I would have never been born. True. True. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So 
I thought maybe one day I could become a cool adeptus like you and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that you and Dai's blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Oh, what? Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean, Master. That's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big deal. Are you, are you sure about that? Like, that's a big, that's a big step. That's a big step. I'm just gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty uh, much uh, eat nothing uh, but uh, bitter uh, herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. Yeah, Violet Grass. Thank you. Thank you. If you join them, you'll never enjoy one minute restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first That's disciple cute. in the human <coughs> world. That's cute. Whoa, you're leaving Mount Outsong? One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. No, yeah, man. Listen, last last 15, 20 minutes, big stuff, big stuff. You know, like this, this is a big deal, a very big deal. Life among the mortal world. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter, but perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Yeah. Why are Sounds you like a plan. Because, <laughs> like, what the fuck, right there? Does this mean we can grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor sometime? <laughs> one has precious little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. If the business is true... Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. The earnings mm, should provide for a comfortable... That's what she was asking harbor. about that earlier, okay. One has already picked okay, up a got it, got property it. near Chihu Rock. Makes sense. Tis no small purchase, but... What is mortal life if not one expense after another? Seems like you've really thought of everything. Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense somnium mechanism as a souvenir? Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. Awesome! Thanks, Cloud Retainer! Thanks, Cloud Thanks, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> Thanks. What we found out? We really gotta fucking really gotta do the two days later shit. Sure. I'll I'll wait two days. I'll I'll wait two days for um I'll wait my two days to uh Let's go visit Cloud Retainer. Yeah, not a bit. Look, it's the same storytelling, like where it's like 40 to 50 minutes of just like complete setup. 
with a bunch of random shit that doesn't need to be there. Really an hour of setting up. 20 to 20 to 30 minutes of like your concerns meat. are excessive and unfounded and then they're probably gonna drag out the ending here collection of ordinary valuables you know such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary uh, to be quite honest your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern in what way are any of these ordinary every single item here could be worth more than everything i own combined I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back, not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never be too careful. We're here, Quill. Uh, Miss Shenyon, what are you guys arguing about? Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity of my wares. I'll have you know, these items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. Folly? Several hundred years? It, indeed. <clears throat> They're family heirlooms, you see. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. Yep, yep, they've definitely been around a while. We can vouch for her on that one. Hear that? Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity to behold them with your own eyes. Huh. Doubt their authenticity any further, and I may just decide to take them to another buyer. Whoa, 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 whoa please don't go! I apologize for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait but a moment, I've hired an expert to appraise them for me. He should be what is this? Pawn stars? Experts, you say. Bro. Oh, very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler, Paimon, this is my new residence. If you have cause to seek my company in the... Master. Oh, it's you too. Oh, she has a little outfit. That's cute. Oh, Aw, that's, that's cute. That is cute. I was about to yell at the game, but that's cute. Mm -hmm. Master made it for me. I like it too. Huh? You know how to make clothes? She doesn't do everything, bro. Do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so... Fret not. I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. <coughs> uh, kind of yeah, it'd be great. Okay. Right <laughs> it appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you must, child. At least she's not alone, you know? She's not alone. Like, they're not they're not now, leaving her alone. This expert with mentioned. an adult. When can we expect their arrival? Soon, soon. Ah, there he is. Here, allow me to make some introductions. Oh, my God. This is Mr. Zhang <laughs> Li, a well-respected <laughs> consultant at Wang Shang Funeral. Yo, okay, and okay. expert in all manner of valuable That's antiques. funny. That's funny. That's Mr. funny. Mr. Zhang Li, this is Miss Shen Yun. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection <laughs> of valuables I mentioned earlier. Oh, uh, brother. Huh. Ah, if it isn't Miss Shenyun. He's it's like, been I quite know. some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. Serendipitous oh. reunion. In, indeed, most serendipitous. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhang Li? Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. Huh. Uh, so you two are all... Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. She is well-versed in all fields, and oft-celebrated for her impeccable taste. You stand to gain. <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhang Li. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. Why, you flatter me, Miss Shenyun. It would seem that you are as self effacing as ever. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Zhang Li. Um, while I am. Loath to butt into this converse. You two already knew each other, and you 
seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Bro, get out bro, get out of here. Can I be certain get out of here? Not... Huh. A preposterous accusation. The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire to do such a thing. Miss Shenyan speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If oh, that yeah. proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction mm. may be taken elsewhere. Oh. Say no more. Let us depart. Gentry players going to play Sharo because they're upset. I just, I just tech tone the ball the guy was yelling at everyone. Who would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for the goods. Mr. Bro. <clears throat> I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli. Final verdicts are good, bro. No cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. The same can be said for this one here. Few could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course, trust your good opinion. Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is... Oh, quite do the hard, Northland Bank, the Northland brother. Bank. Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. Okay. Uh, I mean, dragging it out. <laughs> dragging this out, OD. My friends, have you been doing well? Yes, on them. Cool. Great. How about you? I didn't know you were such a busy consultant. My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. As for you, Miss Shenyun, I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? I must say, the name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. Whatever for. Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Well, that is true, but... <sighs> Alas, refer to me however you will. <laughs> it would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. One's previous stays were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub <laughs> and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city is much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. Not unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration. Human society possesses limitless potential. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. All right, that's enough reflection for one day. No need to get all sentimental on us. You make a valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes together? One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. Hmm? Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so logic dictates that you... Oh? What occasion was this? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Or perhaps our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. Ha! Huh, hardly. Twas most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab row tofu, triple layered consomme. One has already password to Shen Hun Ganyu to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. <laughs> it should be a most splendid... Shu Yu, come now, it is time to dine. Ah, 
This gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is. Um... What is he? What is he, Clower Tanner? <laughs> what is he? A humble employee of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Yeah. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Zhang Li. That That's should be it. everyone, right? Let's go. Oh. Sounds good. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus's temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to re Huh? Why are you all walking so fast? Don't wait for hey, Paimon. Wait for Paimon. Don't. Don't wait for Paimon. Zount Zoe. Zount Zoe. I think that was I think that was the most quest of all time. Um Cloud Retainer right here though. Then it's the best quest ever. Fuck. Um look, it It was more Genshin. In the sense of I enjoyed the parts with Cloud Retainer. I think the overarching story of the the woman and getting there and it was kind of weird um not weird i just think it was played out too much i also feel like look i haven't done the lantern right yet the patch just came out i literally just ran to do this but like i feel like the ganyu and shenha meeting was also kind of useless um you know you got like one little bit of piece of information from that to tie it together but i don't know man it, it, like the story quests seem to be not about the characters, about assisting someone. And then after that, you get like, it's like 75% about someone else. And then like a little bit of lore about the character or at least what they did to partake and help in that person's story. And then that's it. And I just feel like we could have gotten more, man. You know, there's a lot of lore about the game that I don't know because I don't read the outside lore. I haven't read the manga. I haven't, you know, done a lot of the other stuff. So I just feel like it would be cool to get more centered and focused story. Uh, not bad, but it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't my favorite. Um, out of all the ones I've done so far, it's probably my least favorite out of Fontaine. It wasn't bad, especially because like, you know, the last tw you know, 20 minutes of it was cool, but then, I don't know. I just felt it was being dragged. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I missed something. I don't think I did, but I love you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Uh, also, five-day stream starting tomorrow, or technically today when this is uploaded. But I love you. Mwah. I love you. I'm out.